Is slime dead? Well, gosh, I sure hope not because I'm about to test this DIY slime kit that I got from Amazon. This is the DIY ice cream slime kit by Original, Original, by the brand Original Stationery. As I mentioned, I purchased this from Amazon and there are thousands of reviews. So that probably means that tons and tons more were actually sold because let's be honest, how many times have you left a review on Amazon? I don't really make that part of my routine. I should get better about doing that, maybe. To answer the question from the beginning of the video, slime is absolutely still thriving, both in stores and all over social media, including my YouTube channel here. Just last year in 2022, the DIY fluffy slime tutorial that I created quite a few years back was my top viewed video. That definitely tells me that there are people here who want to see some of my slime videos. Maybe you want to see a new one, so I got gotcha. you. And if you don't, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I really miss slime. I know that it's all over, it's generic, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it is so relaxing and it's something that has never gone out of style. It's never stopped trending. And in the 90s, think Nickelodeon. And then of course, the YouTube craze, which has gone through a lot of different phases. But here we are today, slime is still all over and I think it's here to stay. So without further ado, I am going to unbox, review, and do, unbox, review, and do, the slime. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Let me know if there's any craft kits that you want me to try. And yeah, without further ado, again, have I ever said that twice in an intro? I don't know. But without further ado, let's open it. I thought that would be easier. There we go. It smells pretty good. Here's the instruction booklet. This is, I think, Possibly the nicest instruction booklet I've ever seen. Wait, they have a YouTube channel, so they have their own tutorials on original stationery. Ooh, welcome to the ice cream parlor. Tips and tricks, the art of slime swirling. I definitely need this step by step because people used to tell me that I was doing slime wrong. So just a warning, I'll probably do it wrong again. It says everything that comes with the kit on this page and then how to make basic fluffy slime, fluffy butter slime, Vanilla fluffy slime, chocolate chip and cherry fluffy slime, Neapolitan fluffy slime. Please count how many times I say fluffy slime in this video and leave your answers below at the end of the video. Bring out your inner scientist. I mean, I thought we were just making ice cream slime. Warning, this product is not food. Okay, thank you. And that's it. What do we have in here? Ooh, there's actual mini ice cream cone containers in here that you can put together. There are five different colorants for the slime. Three bottles of scent. This bag of foam balls. They're really tiny ones. Then this bag has cherries, sprinkles, spoons, a measuring spoon, and a stirring spoon. We have 75 grams of soft clay. This kind of feels like model magic and I could squish this all day. This is nice. There are three small containers, two large containers, and yes, they do all have lids. They're just still in the box. <laughs> so here they are, lids for everyone. Oh, it comes with its own little mixing bowl, a bottle of slime activator, this little bottle of magic foam soap, a measuring cup, and of course, a big bottle of clear glue. Gotta have the glue, gotta have everything, I guess, but this is absolutely necessary. Let's go ahead and start with the basic fluffy slime recipe. First, we're gonna start with 30 milliliters of the glue. That might help if I take this off. Okay, I feel like it would be easier to not have this part on, much better. Almost there. Pour the glue into a separate mixing bowl, so we're gonna put it in here. I'm just gonna hold that there while I read the next step. Next, add 10 squirts of the magic foaming soap and then three or four squirts of your favorite coloring. There's still a little bit in here, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just do traditional white fluff. There's already one drop coming out. One, two, three, 
four. Oh, that was kind of like five. Oh well. Stir everything for about 30 seconds. That's very foamy. I forgot how satisfying slime is to mix and to play with. That should be good. Finally, one spoonful of the activator water. This looks like it could be messy. There's no little, oh wait, okay. That's what the extra nozzle is for. It's to put on the activator. There we go. This one actually does come in handy because we don't want it to come out as fast as we want the glue to come out. This little measuring spoon, that will get filled very quickly. Let's just dump this around a little bit. Boop. Our wood is starting to slime a little bit. Cool. It doesn't seem very fluffy right now though. Activator spoonful number two. Put that in different places, mix it again. I think there's some at the bottom of the bowl that needs to get some activator in it. Otherwise it should be good to start handling. It's a little sticky. Ew, it's still sticky. I don't think the two spoonfuls of activator was enough. I'm gonna just put a little bit more. Okay, that's a little bit better. But now it seems like it might be too Maybe I ruined it. This does not feel like the fluffy slime I made years ago. I guess I could try to make it again without adding extra activator, but it was really sticky. For my second attempt, I made this turquoisey color, and this time I'm not going to add extra activator. This one's definitely a little bit more flowy, if you can tell. I don't think I completely ruined this one, but definitely this is a testament to patience and not trying to rush the slime process along and trusting the instructions, I guess. But you can't always trust them, so I had my doubts. It still does not feel like what I used to make, though. It's a lot more crunchy. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I add a little bit of the clay to this. There is no measurement for the clay, it just says to add a small handful, so I'll keep adding more if I don't like the consistency, I guess. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I don't like how rippy it is. That looks cool. Whoa. Maybe a little bit more. This is much better. Let's go ahead and make the chocolate chip and cherry fluffy slime up close here on camera. All of these slimes are made the exact same way, so you can see I'm just doing the same steps that I've already done, adding 30 milliliters of the clear glue. pumps of the foam soap. It says to add four drops of the brown colorant, but you'll see that that isn't quite enough, but that's what I started out with. measuring spoon full of the slime activator and I'm going to just kind of uh, sprinkle that around so it's not all in one place. Then I'm gonna mix, mix, mix for 30 seconds to a minute, it doesn't really matter. Just mix it a little bit and then add some activator, a spoonful full of it and sprinkle it around different areas of the slime so it's not all concentrated in one place. It should look something like this, unless you did a different color. Something about the chocolate slime is I have more of a peanut buttery color. I put in over 10 drops of the brown colorant 
and it says to get that color that you only need four squirts. So what's going on? Definitely not how it's supposed to look. And I don't really like the consistency of this particular fluffy slime, as I mentioned earlier, without the clay. So I'm definitely adding clay. And this is now what it looks like after marbling the clay and mixing it as thoroughly as possible. It is nowhere near the brown that they show in the instruction booklet. That is a little bit of false advertising, wouldn't you say? I feel like in order to get that shade of brown, you would have to have a brown clay instead of the white clay, and then maybe even more and more food coloring drops which I tried, but this is what we got. It's a very light brown. It's fine, but honestly, it just does not look as appetizing as theirs. Still wanted to go all out, add some sprinkles, which I poured way too many, but it looks kind of cool. And then a little cherry on top. And I like this cherry because it's actually kind of rubbery and squishy and feels cool. Then let's go ahead and try these foam balls. Uh, they look really cool. They don't really stay in the slime. Maybe because this is the very first slime I made and there's not clay in this one, but I still don't think they would stick in the others very well either. It's really cool to look at, but when you pull it apart, a lot of the balls just kind of fly everywhere. So keep that in mind more for show. So I'm gonna put that away and now I'm stacking the other two slimes I made and they are in these little containers that the kit came with. They fit in very nicely, so that's why you don't wanna make more than 30 milliliters at a time or else they won't fit in these containers. Oh, also I wanted to show you the little ice cream container. So I put the turquoise slime in here and almost all of it fits. I didn't show, but there's a little I had to take out. It looks really cute in the ice cream container. I'm a fan. And this container is actually really great for storage whether you wanna put your containers of slime in here or other things such as maybe mini squishies, art supplies, whatever you want. I do have quite a bit of materials left over so I can make more slimes. I think you have to make 10 batches total. So you might not be able to get quite that many, but I feel like you could get at least seven or eight batches of slime with the glue they provide. And then you would have to get more glue, but there should be enough soap and there's definitely enough slime activator. And then there's more containers left over. So here's what we have, tons of clay too. Please check out some of my previous videos. I'm gonna link them in the description box below. And I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in my next one. I forgot to film an outro. Okay, bye.